excited to play. I know Michael, um, you know, he's probably ready to play too. So I'm just ready to have some fun, answer some questions. Don't have much to say. Um, let's do this. Hello, TV trivia fans. We are here to uh, continue in the tournament. Uh, I know Aaron from some of the other leagues around the bend and very smart guy. He picked some strengths that I'm not very familiar with, to be honest. So we'll see how it goes. I hope I studied enough. Let's see what comes out of it. Hey, guys, we're back. We're finally in the tournament, the first matchup in round one. We see Michael Turner versus Aaron Sellers. Big matchup. Both of these rookies have played uh, tremendously well in their uh, first matches and have shown to have bright careers going here in TV. Uh, I'm alone in this. Uh, Joe's off at work. Malcolm is probably asleep in his part of the woods. So I'm just going to get right into it. Let's bring him in first. Michael Turner and his opponent, Mr. Aaron Sellers, Dinosaur Train himself. Yep. <laughs> that's, the, that's the nickname we're going to go with. <laughs> but you guys know how this works. This is a three-round matchup. Uh, winner moves on to play the winner of either Alec Miller or – uh, Joe Harrison. So let's get into it with the rules for round number one. Round number one is simple. Eight questions, eight predetermined shows. Uh, you get it right, you get a point. You don't You don't lose anything. There's no stealing. Uh, when given a question, you'll write it down on the whiteboard or pen and paper, whatever you have. After 20 seconds, we'll ask for the answer. You'll reveal it, verbalize it. Verbalization is the key for the correct point. So are you guys ready? Ready. All right. And you also have your three repeats and your one challenge, so use them wisely. All right. Round one, your first question. How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother was created by what two credited creators of the series? The big Malcolm favorite here for this show. He lives and breathes and dies this, but we'll go. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's start with Michael. I know one guy's Carter Bays. I couldn't pull the other one. All right. And Aaron. I have Carter Bays and Greg Thomas. That is correct for the points. All right. Aaron taking the one nothing lead. Let's see how it goes. Question two. Power Rangers RPM. Power Rangers RPM is based on which Super Sentai series? Surprise, there wasn't more of these questions whenever we had our full metal random Power Rangers, but we'll go <laughs> five, four, three, two. Repeat the question. All right, Aaron's first repeat. Power Rangers RPM is based on which Super Sentai series? But going back to that, I will pay Ryan Permison back tremendously with a lot of Sentai questions just because <laughs> I can. As long as Malcolm accepts the questions. <laughs> we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Aaron first. I know I'm wrong. I have Gengo Man. That is incorrect, unfortunately. Michael. I just had a number. I had seven. Ah, uh, the correct answer was go on her. Go on her. Fuck. Yeah. Yes. All right. Your third question comes in Glee. Jane Lynch plays what character on Glee? I need a first and last name. Another, another one of Malcolm's favorites. It's like somebody was channeling him. <laughs> yes, Apparently, I think too much like Malcolm. <laughs> we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Let's go to Michael. Coach Sue Sylvester. That is correct. And Aaron. I put Jane Lynch. Ah. Well, Michael ties it up as we go into our fourth question. Comes in Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. 
After the death of Kendricks, who takes over as the new Galaxy Pink Ranger? First time we saw a Power Rangers death on screen, I do believe, for that season, marking it as the first. But we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Aaron. Uh, I have Corone. And Michael. I have Valerie. Aaron has the point. It is Corone. All right. Our next show comes in Cobra Kai. Cobra Kai is a continuation of what movie series? Also still in Netflix top 10 in the USA as of this recording. Will it stay in there? We'll find out, folks. But Very we'll worthwhile of your time. Four, it is. Three, two, one. Especially with season three soon to be around the corner. Pens down. Let's go to Michael. Karate Kid. That is correct. And Aaron. The Karate Kid. Both correct, both getting the points. All right. Our next comes in Lovecraft Country. Lovecraft Country. Atticus Freeman embarks on a road trip across Southern America during what decade? Interesting new series on HBO Max. Uh, Kind of, kind of makes you want to subscribe to it to see what all they have. But we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Let's go to Michael first. It's the nineteen sixties. And Aaron. I have the seventies. Michael was closer. It's the nineteen fifties. Oh, Brooklyn. Yes. Yeah, I had that too. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's go to the penultimate question in Family Guy. How many full seasons of Family Guy has aired in its entirety? Speaking of Brooklyn, last question. He loves this one. <laughs> we'll go five, four, three, two, one. Start with Aaron. I have 18 seasons. And Michael. It's a 20. Aaron is correct for the point. It is 18. Halfway through 19, but it hasn't fully aired. Gotcha. All right. And our last question comes in Dinosaur Train. Dinosaur Train was created by the person responsible for Hey Arnold and Ready Jet Go. Who was said person? Fun fact, I did not know they were behind Hey Arnold. It, it gives them a plus. Tough. Somebody couldn't have said, hey, Arnold, for a strength, but, you know, go figure. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. We'll go to Michael. Uh, I said Arnold Jackson from Good Times. <laughs> and Aaron. I said Brian Henson. Both incorrect. It is Craig Bartlett. Craig Bartlett. Uh Oh, he's on the damn credits of Dinosaur Train. I just fucking know that. <laughs> well, oh, I know that. Still, still a close game. It's four to two. Aaron ahead going into round number two. And how round number two works, folks, is it is our lovely wheel round. We bring up a wheel. Our competitors will spin said wheel. Uh, if they don't like your first spin, they can spin again. Each uh, show has four questions in it worth two points apiece. They can go to multiple choice to make it worth one point, and there is stealing in this. So with that being said, Aaron, you are ahead. Would you like to defer or go first? Have you primed the wheel? Yes, I have. Okay, I will go first. All right, this wheel has been primed for 30 minutes, buddy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go first. First spin is in. And it lands on player's choice. Uh, we'll go Power Rangers RPM. Okay. All right. Michael, you do have a chance to steal. All right. Your first question in Power Rangers RPM. What kind of weapon is used by Operator Series Green? An axe. Correct for two points. 
what is the name of the last city left on Earth in RPM? The Dome City of Corinth. Two more points. What are the objects called that the rangers insert into their morphers before they morph? Energy cells? You said energy cells? Yeah. That is incorrect. Michael, a chance for a two-point steal. I couldn't even dream up of what it would be. <laughs> Uh, the correct answer is engine cells. Engine cells. Oh. Yes. Yeah, you were close. Cars, duh. Yeah. yeah, cars, duh. All right. Your last question, Aaron. The high octane Megazord is a combination of the Eagle Racer, the Lion Hauler, and what other Zord? I get. Do I get one free repeat on the question or just the multiple choice if I ask for it? Uh, for the multiple choice, you get a free repeat. Okay. Um, give me a repeat on the whole question. Okay. So you're still taking it for two? You don't want the multiple choice? Yeah, yeah, I'm taking it for two. Okay. The high-octane Megazord is a combination of the Eagle Racer, Lion Hauler, and what other Zord? Give me a multiple choice. All right. Your multiple choice options are A, the tail spinner, the B, wolf cruiser, C, crop carrier, or D, the bear crawler. D, the bear crawler. Correct for a point. All right. Still coming out with five points out of that. Not bad at all. But we go back to the wheel for Michael Spin to see what he can do at it to try to regain the lead or at least get closer to it. <laughs> All right, Michael, RPM is off the board, but player's choice is still on there, so okay. good luck on your first spin. Thank you. As I said, good luck on your first spin. <laughs> We're going to try that again. <laughs> I assume you're taking it. Dinosaur train? Uh, I, I don't have a choice. No, it's your first spin. You have a shot. Oh, yeah. Spin, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I was just fucking with you. It's how I met your mother. That is much uh, more uh, favorable. Good Lord. That was that was a close one, I will say. <laughs> that was like right, like right there. And hell, I missed the first question, so who knows? <laughs> well, who knows? All right. And how I met your mother, your first question. Lily and Marshall conceives Marvin in Barry's apartment during which hurricane? Sandy. Aaron, a chance for a two-point steal. Hmm. I'm going to go with the obvious one. I'm going to say Katrina. Also incorrect. That's it was Hurricane Irene. Mm. Irene. Yes. Where did Ted and Marshall first meet? College. Correct for two points. All right. What state is Marshall stuck in at the start of season nine? Multiple choice. Uh, your options are A, Michigan, B, Minnesota, C, North Dakota, or D, South Dakota. Minnesota. Correct for a point. All right, your last question. How many slaps does Barney get throughout the series? Five. Michael, a chance for a two-point steal. How many slaps altogether, you're saying? Throughout the whole series, yes. Okay. Ow. <laughs> I'm going to say nine. Also incorrect. You are very close. The correct answer is eight. Hmm. He well, has I'm going to challenge the question. I'm going to challenge the question because... All right, folks, we're back uh, from the challenge, uh, challenging... Aaron there challenging the answer we had, which we looked into it. Uh, me and Malcolm bounced it off since that is Malcolm's like favorite show. And based on the wording of the question, Aaron does get the two point steal for the answer. So he does get the two point steal. So going at the end of round two, it's 11 to 5, the score with Aaron 
with the advantage by six points. But it's still a game. We still have round three to play, and how that works is such. Round three, we bring up our wheel again. All we have are just the strength shows. We don't have any players or opponents' choice. Player behind always goes first. Uh, they will spin said wheel, and whatever they land on, if they don't like the first spin, they can spin again. Whatever show they land on and stick with, there's two columns, column A and column B. Column A has a one, two, and a three-point question. Column B has a two, four, and six-point question. Uh, they still have to pick uh, a set that either gets them tied to the lead or retakes the lead. So they still have to have that dilemma, as we always do. But the second set in this, if they have to choose it, is stealable. So your opponents can steal those points and what have you. But you have a better chance with the different point values to get a higher point to retake the lead. But that's just how it is. So with that being said, we go to Michael since he is behind by six points. He will have our first spin of the wheel here. All of our strength shows are already primed. Michael, are you ready? Yes. All right, let's spin it. How I Met Your Mother. Fair enough. We'll try again. All right. Uh, you are at a six-point disadvantage. Uh, either set can get you the six points. Uh, the first set, you do have to hit all three questions. The second set, you do kind of have some play, but it's up to you. Um, I'll go second set because I have no confidence that he won't get something in the next round. So, okay, all right, these can be stealable in the second or the second set. So, but we will go with it. Uh, all right, your first question for two points What does the area down a set tree club? stand for where Lily and Marshall's apartment is. Downwind of the sewage treatment plant. Two points. Mm -hmm. I tried practicing that all night, folks. <laughs> Failed horribly. Okay. Uh, four point question. Who plays Ted's son and daughter? I need the actor's name. David Henry and Lindsay Fonseca. We are tied up, folks. So no matter what, the TKO is avoided. Your six-point question. In the episode Last Words, Robin pulls several things out of her purse. Name three of them. Oh, this will be funny. Uh, yeah, because I have no clue. Um, I'm going to say a gun, handcuffs, and lipstick. Aaron, you do have a chance for a six-point steal. We're going to go lipstick, beer, and condoms. One of those is correct with uh, <laughs> lipstick, but the answers we have, phone charger, crocodile Dundee 3, vodka, playing cards, and uh, lipstick. Nice. Nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Kinky show, I guess. But Michael staves off the TKO. Uh, we That's go, all I wanted. <laughs> we go back to the wheel. Hey, this could still go into That's sudden death. That's all I death. wanted. This could still go into sudden death. We, we don't know here. So, Aaron, you're up at the wheel. You are forced to spin, and your spin is away. Lands on Family Guy. Mm. We'll spin again. All right. <laughs> Dinosaur Train. I'm going to win it on Dinosaur Train. We're going to go one, two, and three. All right. Okay. Your one-point question in Dinosaur Train. 
What period of the or what period of time does the show take place in? Mm. We'll say the Jurassic. That is incorrect. It is the Cretaceous. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> All right. For your two point question. Where is the Pteranodone family nest located at? Pteranodon Terrace. And your winner. Moving on to face in round two, the winner of uh, Alec Miller or Joe Harrison, Aaron Sellers. All right. Close match. Close match there. Michael was starting to come back in round three there, but that last question just kind of threw it off for him. But let's go hear what these guys have to say right now. All right, we're back with our winner, Aaron. Aaron moves on to the tournament. Aaron, how you feeling after that? this win? Big win for you. You could have ended it early, early in round at after Michael's round three there with a six-point steal, but able to get Dinosaur Train once again. How you feeling? Yeah. I, I'm feeling good. Michael really scared me towards the end when he just – because I had no idea on the son-daughter. That was impressive. I'll give him credit there. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, the six-pointer, when it came down, I'm like, oh, shit, if I get something on the wheel I don't like, it's game over. He just made a great comeback. Yeah. Um, I think the steal really, really made the game for me, basically. Mm -hmm. So, But, yeah, I mean, Michael's good. He'll be back. Um, oh, yeah. Alec or whoever else I'm facing, doesn't really matter. Get prepared for Dinosaur Train or whatever else tricks I got up my bag because I'm always looking at odd and end TV shows that have one season or a kid's show that lasted two years. And so. Well, th that's what I do admire with that is that strategy for those shows. And you, you've had some interesting strategies over your batches so far. So I do look forward to that in the future. But uh, with that, we will see you in round number two. Yep. You do have the winner of a very tough match. So we'll see how that goes for you. We'll see you in round two, buddy. See ya. All right. We are back. Our unfortunate loser in this, Michael Turner. Michael, it just didn't go your way with that six-pointer, I guess. And that yeah. was a big steal. I mean. It's all it's all good, brother. I, I had a sinking feeling in, in me from day one when he when Aaron announced his strengths, like I'm I'm not gonna know that stuff. And I'm too lazy to look it up. <laughs> I, I did a, a like this much studying. I was like, yeah. yeah. Hopefully I, I was relying on a little bit of luck and I didn't get it. So it's all good. I had fun. I'll be back, and you know, hopefully, my opponent will pick more normal shows. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, we will have you back, so trust me on that. We have plenty of plenty of people we can match you up with, uh, okay. you know, and we will see you back. Hopefully, it goes better for you in the next one to get you back on that winning streak. But with that, we'll throw it back up to the desk to me to close us out. All right, and we are back. Great match from both of these guys. Uh, both of them played heavy in the first in their first matchup for uh, round one, so it was a great match between these guys. Of course, Aaron moves on. Uh, impressive showing from, like I said, from both of these guys. It really came down to that steal. I really think if Aaron didn't get that steal, it was going to be a lot closer. But you know, who's to say what this match fully would have done? But who knows? Great match from both of these guys. Aaron is going to have a tough match with the winner of Alec Miller, former champion, hungry for that belt again. And, of course, Joe Harrison showing that new resolve of his to want to move forward to get that championship. So we'll see how it goes. We'll see you back in our next round one matchup as Caleb Boatman takes on Richard Schwartz. Stay tuned. Keep that TV going. We'll see you, folks. <laughs>